Okay, so I wasn't gonna do this stuff, but then again, I have to say, my mother just somehow insisted on this issue with a lot of insults. She is like, I can like really, really secure, confident, is what I'm trying, self-confidence, she's got a, a lot of uh, stamina, self-confidence uh, in a way she acts. And um, I've come to realize that uh, I have her attitude enough and um, no longer will allow any of this police violence against me. So in this video, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm referring to what you see right here, this thing here. I was just about to go out, but... I really confronted her in respect to the key issue. This is a big issue, this stuff here. This key issue is a really, really big issue. Today I was everything this is a joint the issue. In a little bit, you're going to understand why this is... And the key, the way you see it now? This key was basically placed inside of the lock. And according to my knowledge... Based on my expertise, this key, once it was inside of the lock, probably inside of this lock, was hammered with something. Somebody probably took a hammer and have hammered this key. That's somebody who did that kind of stuff. I don't think it was even a locksmith. I think it was a police investigator from the pol an employee from the police station Novo Mesto one of the police investigators. That was a police investigator, most likely whom I have met the other day at the police station. And this video, so Never in a way, like is related but to this video. Because it's a, it's it really, really what I'm trying to I'm say to you now. The story expanded. Yeah, the story expanded. And it's, it's going to go, go for evaluation, evaluation to see just how much. much yes, I wanted, I wanted to take the key for evaluation so that I can get an idea based on what my mother immediately suggested that I used broom. It's not really broom, it's really soft stuff that under no possible circumstances would do damage to the key like that in any fucking way. The key that you see right there was placed inside of the lock and the key was simply hammered. Somebody took a hammer and started to bang on that key to bend one in a way you were able to see. No other way possibly you could do the damage like this. Frank was you can do the fucking damage like this to the key. It's impossible you would do the How damage this thing was like this done. to the key. This is hammered. Uh, I have seen why I'm saying this key is a hammered, is hammered further, because I realized upon look taking a, a little closer view on one, that there were marks here on the key yeah and this marks fit exactly the lock you see where the lock is where it ends the lock and then the key is outside of the lock this is where i have seen like huh that's exactly what i have seen was um okay let me just demonstrate to you. It was a marks like this. Two marks like this. Something like this. It looked like a marks. And then if the key would would was bent. This is basically where the key was bent. You know, like there were marks here. You know, marks. Two marks like this. And it was exactly where the key was bent. Yeah. So I know that the key was inside of the lock. And I'm pretty certain that somebody took a hammer and have hammered that key yesterday. And that key was not hammered yesterday. 
I remember also this, that the key was not hammered yesterday, but it was my mother who have inserted hammered key inside of the lock. Okay, so what I'm saying is she already had hammered key before in the past made, produced. Let's just say on behalf of police, if not po police alone. And as she arrived home, the only thing she did was she switched that key inside of the lock. And that was it. I saw that key right there reminding myself of a scenario. But the scenario is really, really bad. The scenario for which police officer insisted if I would use broom, such a broom, just watch the video and you're going to see exactly what I mean. Uh, police investigator further insisted if he somehow get a hold of the key. He did not. When I had conversation in respect to the key yesterday with the mother, as soon as I returned in the kitchen where I left keys like this, there was this bar that was on the top I never used. This was on the top. This bar, this soap bar was on the top. Like detergent soap bar. I never used this one, ever. And it's exactly what the investigator told me is going to be the case. Related to this issue right here, with mother prepared. Therefore, in the future, when they're going to throw one inside of the homeless of our elderly people, that's any time they can get rid of him. Any time. Uh, uh, Pesh, furnace, furnace is burning. burning. Please, Please close, close the, the door. door. Uh, uh, official story. Official story. I'm going to throw the father inside of the furnace. Uh, this is the paper my, my mother insisted me for the future hospitalization of the father for the future when they're going to throw one inside of the homeless of our elderly people. That's any time they can get rid of him. Any time. Uh, Pesh, furnace, furnace is burning. burning. Please. Close the door. Uh, official story. Official story claimed this here. This door, which separates the one from, um, which is not heated and it's cold, uh, so that the heat cannot go out, cannot exit this thing. Uh, and so, her other unofficial story, however, stated. The furnace, the furnace, that means the one where father is going to be cremated. It's, it's going, going to depend on what you're going to be writing, how you're going to be doing this stuff at any time you can go into the furnace. Cremation, basically. She is sitting here already for maybe two months. Yeah, that's, that's uh, what that got to do with the soap bar. This was recorded right after I recorded the stuff. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is about the key. When I was confronting the mother, then when I went and I, reco uh, I recorded uh, other... Dis this is disturbing stuff as hell. This is what police insisted me that an MK Ultra is what we turn into when our corpses are dead. This, this here, like a soap. They were demonstrating the soap, that's that kind of stuff. Um, disturbing shit. So you go, you talk, you go talk to mother about one issue, you have somebody inside of the house is doing that kind of issue with the soap bar. This police investigator further insisted if I get a hold of the key, the only thing that's gonna happen is I'm going to put one inside of the lock and break one off. So I headed upstairs to the attic area to see what the fuck is going on, who is inside of the house and where. By the time I returned, the key was gone. 
the key that's bent. So he got a hold of the key in meanwhile. He got a hold of the key in meanwhile. It gets better. The police investigator insisted, I'm going to put the key inside of your backpack when you will state this and you will exit the house I'll stop you we're going to ask you about this mental games and we're going to get the key this is how insane this shit is so for me to say people walk inside in here back and forth I had to explain exactly how they do this how that stuff is done and I have no control over this stuff whatsoever. That is what reality is inside of this house. Now, let's see what kind of attitude this is. I've just spoken with my mother asking her if she took the key, the one I demonstrated her yesterday, prior to house search for whoever is inside, because the door right next to my room are simply locked. These doors are locked. They remain locked. I have no control over who is inside of the father's room whatsoever. No control over anything. No control over absolutely anything. I asked my mother, the key you have taken yesterday, can you please return the key back to me? For the reason why I asked her to return me the key, simply is because the scenario which I stated right now this was a whole fucking big deal with this key it's also the one that is more logical than anything else mother is the one that brings the items at home and is switching the items the door next to my room remains locked. My mother's response to that locked door is sheer violence. Sheer violence. She, she just gives like total fucking output of violence. That's all you get. There's no communication. There's no fucking way. No nothing. There's nothing. There's, there's nothing. No zero point nothing. There's no communication here. There's the only thing you get is psychological violence in return. And this lady tortured inside of this house for no less physically. 26 years with the police. Keep this stuff in mind. And the only thing she gives in return is psychological violence. So I ask her, can I please get the key back? Because I don't want to have that key broken inside of the lock. As police investigator have promised he will do if he gets a hold of the key. He doesn't have to get a hold of the key. It's enough that cochlear implants, whatever fucking implants, Bluetooth, message on the smartphone, whatever it is, tells mom, go pick up the key from the table. And that's all she has to do. Pick up the key from the table. You leave the things. The key files inside here, whatever it is. I don't have, I don't have the fucking time for that. I don't have the time to search over and over and over and over and over again for things. Repairing computers, do this, do that, search. Do basically nothing other than search. Your brain gets drained out. I don't have the kind of energy that I would go and do that kind of stuff. I don't have it. Now, that's a big fucking issue because it's expensive lock. It's a trouble. It's a real, real, real trouble if somebody's going to go and he's going to lock that fucking key, which I remember the concept. I remember about what the fuck went on. But interesting is, 
that you turn yourself around like this and it's already somebody inside of your pocket, inside of your own home. And zip, and it's gone. And it's according to MK Ultra torture they utilized on me for no less than 26 years. That is, you have to admit, pretty fucking insane for police not to stop by and do whatever the fuck they're obligated to do according to the law. Yeah, that's like begging, begging, begging for violence. Begging for violence. Not from my end. But what the fuck is the police that did stuff like this and that continue to do stuff like this? What the hell is this shit? That's a violence. That's an ultimate violence. Let's see how mother responded to my confronting her about this issue. She confronted in exactly the same way in which she responded to me in every crime a novel master police, Slovenian police orchestrated against me. On every crime police, Slovenian police orchestrated against me, it was nothing than explosion of violence against me. I didn't take anything. And I said, and who, who gave one inside of the door? And uh, a response to me, didn't you say you took that key for yourself? And you entered, you, you, uh, you inserted in a key lock another key. This, that's exactly what I stated. That's exactly what I stated. I told her like this. I mean, I'm, I'm, this is like such a brain fucking. This is a, such a brain fucking. This is a, such a violence here we are talking about. This is a, such a degree of violence that is actually from my end impossible to even describe to do the stuff like this to somebody. This is utterly play with somebody's fucking sanity. It's my fucking sanity. I told her, not in a nice way, I told her, you know where she should be right now? She should be sitting inside of the prison right now. With the 10 life sentences. That's what they did with the Joseph Fritzl. That's what they do with the people like this. You know what she's doing instead? She's giving instead an attitude. In 2013, because of her lies, because of my father's lies, I was thrown inside of a psychiatric institution. Torture was not enough. <laughs> I told her, listen, mom, I told her, I think the key you insert inside of the doors, they have eventually prepared for you. So the only thing you did was you inserted one inside of the doors. And this is the reason why I am asking you if you have also somehow get a hold of the key which afterwards I have left on a table, on a kitchen table. Now, mother goes on to insist me, go and see, go and look where you placed the key. Uh, she says, she goes, she says, there's nothing she says. Uh, the only thing that, that, when I start reminding her what police investigator, because she knows the scenario, she knows for every crime she knows on how, what, how to act, what to do, what say, this, that, every fucking crime. The only thing she does is she explodes and she sends me to the motherfucker land right there. Okay. As I say, the investigator, the investigator stated, and before I even 
remind her of the crime that they exercised in MK Ultra, she explodes. <laughs> I fuck your god, <laughs> Satan, <laughs> mentally ill. <laughs> and uh, as she's screaming at me, I continue to reassure her about her crime, her and police crime during MK Ultra, repeating her the words they were repeated to me over and over again by police from Novo Mesto Police Station. Police investigator stated that if he will get a hold of the bent key, once the key is bent, he will go ahead and break one inside of the lock. Uh, she starts to threaten how I'm going to be broken soon. You will go, they will take you. When she starts with that kind of stuff, I don't back down anymore because it's always the same thing. It's always anger, explosion, violence that erupts from her. So I don't stop at this point and I continue to remind her. The police investigator, your friends, the people you work with during MK Ultra stated that if the key will get bent and he will get a hold of one, he will break one inside of the lock. So I'm asking if you by any chance have taken the key. <laughs> And uh, I tell her, listen, mom, who's going to be broken, we will yet uh, see who will be broken. <laughs> you understand, probably, the words. Uh, I said, listen, I only asked. Uh, she said, you didn't ask anything, you blame. <laughs> you are creating plots. You are a lion, you are creating plots, you are just setting up things. You did not ask. Uh, that's a very, very bad language. I'm a not a good person. I'm a lazy motherfucker. Satan, lazy. I remind her about her verbal violence and about what went on inside of this hall for 26 years during MK Ultra torture. Why have they thrown you out of United States of America? Why they threw you out of United States of America? You fucking swine, you. I ask her, why are you so violent? She said, because you're insane, that's why. I said, I'm not crazy. Completely insane you are already. Okay. I tell her, okay then, fine. I asked. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, she goes on to suggest, I told you I did not took one, and you go and you plant me, yeah, plant me, plot me, plant me, uh, other issues. I tell her, okay. I walk away, and then I hear again more and more and more words, so I return back. You are fantasizing 24 hours as much as you want because then you, you don't have a job, you don't work. I told her, now I did hear you. Is there anything else you would like to tell me, I asked mother. 
So this is a crime that goes into the 28 years, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm 51. I don't have an hour of peaceful life because of you. I don't say, what did I do to you? One single hour of peaceful life because of you. You are psychologically killing me. I said, really? I... Well, I am reusing uh, a coffee filter so I don't throw them away. I always try to save every little dime. Every little time, every little thing, I always try to save. If I can use it, reuse it. God knows how long this unemployment stuff is going to last. Um, I, I wouldn't refer to this as an unemployment. Uh, this is a whole fucking employment. I work far more than any garden journalist, any newspaper from the Western New York Times, uh, Los Angeles Times. Uh, people who are really, really wealthy journalists, uh, I put the fucking life into it, into my stuff. This is not, this is not unemployment. Uh, compared to a journalist that perform their work, I probably do, on, on average, about twice as much as the average journalist does, if not even more than that. Uh, and they receive uh, really, really wealthy paychecks. They receive a lot of fucking payment. You can go to any newspaper and you're going to see, we work very hard, we do this, we do all kinds of stuff we fucking do. Consider the contribution. Do this. Contrary to my situation in which even video view counters of my video channels are blocked. Where I had no fucking rights to post the link from my news site on a Facebook. Because it's blocked. Try to post House of Times link on your website at Facebook, and you're going to see what's going to happen. Where I had no fucking rights to any kind of earnings when it comes to advertisements. Even the block views are blocked. Even the number of viewers viewing my blog is blocked. All the pictures, everything about me from the internet, which was flooded with my website, you would only have to answer our times and you would get, I have no idea what kind of information about it. Everything was fucking deleted, wiped off, bleached. Contrary to my journalist fellows, which would arrive to this house together with Illuminatis, with the Britons, with the royals from Buckingham Palace, with IR royalties from Europe, with the movie stars from Hollywood, with the NBA USA players, basketball players, soccer players, and would have their mainstream media boys meeting them right here, telling them how they would like to be seen, giving their the fucking concepts in front of me here inside of the house to portray me, obviously, as a schizophrenic. My friends, journalists, you are a fucking disgrace for the human race. Not that you are journalists. You are not journalists. What you have done, you are my biggest enemy. You know who my biggest enemy in this thing was? It was not the elites. It was the people who paid you to write the articles. It was the people who made sure that you got state-funded, I don't even know how I would say, projects, or you get paychecks from the country. Here in Slovenia they do. They get 100% check handouts. You are the killers. You are the Joseph Stalins. You, Western media. You are the main criminals. You are the one who have created... You are because, it's because of you, this vacuum. It's because of you, the death. My case. It's because of you. It's because of your journalism. Your journalism is shit. It's not democracy. It's a death. It's a dead end. Contrary to these people, I continue to work, which is 
a rather commanding. It's commanding when you make so much fucking money as I did with the minimum wage, with the stuff the way they have done to me. Yet my mother claimed that I lost hundred thousand dollars in cash that I didn't give her a dime and all kinds of stuff like this when I had employment and so on and so forth. When it comes to the work ethics, I hope you journalists realize you are a fucking parasite. You are a fucking disgrace for this world. You are a dream of Joseph Stalin. And I'm talking about British journalism. I'm talking about American journalism. I'm talking about German jur journalism, French journalism, Italian, Spaniard, Scandinavian journalism. You are a fucking disgrace. You are a fucking disgrace. And I'm ashamed I'm from this fucking continent here, European continent. You are a fucking disgrace. I'm going to stress the issues about this stuff. It's not okay that you drive Mercedes. It's not okay that you collect the money based on lies, based on isolating, based on ousting somebody from the society, based on making somebody disappear. Somebody whom you have participated in torture against. The main killers were not people from Hollywood and royalties, prime ministers, ministers. Military personnel, all kinds of stuff that, that entered inside police. MI5, Central Intelligence Agency. It was a fucking journalism. The journalists are the power horse. The journalists are the powerhouse of the genocide in the Western society. So this is just important issue for me to stress about issues as such about who work, who does what, this and that. You fuck my life up. It's because of you. I'm in a situation as such. And that's why the world should never trust you. Because of your journalism. Because of your sincerity. Because of what goes on in your society is behind the curtain. Everything is behind the fucking curtain. You said Soviet Union was Iron Curtain. You are a fucking dead. You are. Your journalism is a curtain of death. That's when the curtain goes down. And the only thing that comes out is what I stated. It's the news. Prefabricated news. It's the news that you fabricate together with your royalties. With your politicians. With whatever you think would entertain the day. With whatever you think would give somebody a different idea about the lifestyle. It would... It would appear somewhere, you sensationalize whoever pays you, whatever, and that's how the fuck you are based. You are a Nigerian scam invented in the western part of Hemisphere. This is just like a literal EPP, um, Economsko Propagandni uh, program. It's like a, a little commercial for our times. For our times. So that I remind you that somebody's not going to get some fucking wrong idea about my being a legitimate person. My doing this stuff. There is nothing I can fucking do. If my bank accounts are blocked, if everything is locked, there is nothing I can do. But I am going to remind you the truth, who you really are, why this stuff is happening to me, so that you're not going to think highly of yourself because you're not. You're worms, you're parasites. You are a disgrace for this world. <laughs> and you worked together with my mama and with my papa when you entered inside of this house where you tortured you, the people from the CNN, you, the people from the biggest media networks, all the Western media networks that count that you entered inside of this house and you were meeting your politicians, your people, and what you... Even bloggers were collecting the money through a donate me option and so on. While I did not receive the single fucking dime, have performed more work than five journalists performed within the last 28 years 
not 28 years, but since I started this in 2010, did not receive one cent. You know what one fucking penny is? I did not get one. You get it? Not fucking one. Not one cent. I wouldn't say dime, but one fucking cent. That's how far Buckingham Palace went, and that's my love for you. You gotta understand what you have created. You got to understand this isn't about Hollywood. This isn't about the world of sports. This isn't about the people that could do the difference, but have chosen instead corruption. This is about you, the people, the pillar of democracy, the so-called journalism. You are a uh, killers. I tell my mom, you most likely were the one who placed the key inside of the lock and the police officer, your friend, stated if he will get a hold of the key once I acknowledge the key bent he will completely break one inside of the lock under NK Ultra make no mistake my mother continued to threaten will get police will summon the police if she finds the key broken inside of the lock what you hear right now however you can hear her responsiveness that's a verbal, psychological violence basically bursting out of her. She claims I'm completely insane. Screaming. She's not, she's not talking, she's screaming. I'm asking her, I said, how, how the fuck can I be insane, mom? How can I be insane? I reminded her, listen, I, t I told her, you, with your friends, you guys were physically abusing me, beating me up inside of this home for 26 years during your MK Ultra sessions, yeah? Inside of this house. Together with the neighbors, not only with the police. So I, I tell her, I just asked you because you said I'm insane, that I'm nuts. Why did they throw you out of, why did they expel you from the United States of America? You can you return home like a dog. I said, listen, mom, I only asked. I only asked because you said you are in... If you wouldn't be insane, you wouldn't be talking about this stuff like this. I said, Mom, I have a proof. What do you have? My mother is resolute. She's decided that MK Ultra never existed. Mother, stop talking about how she is paying the bills. Well, um, Milan Kucha and the politicians were always looking for the people that were on the brink of the society. Low education, little education, physicals uh, that simply needed uh, to get by, basically, to keep the job. If possible, maybe even get jobs somewhere else if they close the companies. Those people, if they found the ones they found somewhere on the street, that was it. They remained jobless for the rest of their life. Now, my mom I had a very stable job in a company here not too far. Was not in that situation, really. But I tell her, because I go over, I tell her this. You did it for my niece, for Urshka, Weber, Golob and her husband for her education for their jobs for their prosperity and so on and so forth
I don't hear you got more than those bills you holding hands because she's claiming she's paying everything. She is. She is. She is absolutely paying everything. I remember when I protested against her food in 2013. This was the idea. That was the idea. I don't like having bills paid by somebody. I don't want that kind of stuff. I, I can pay my bills. I don't hurt, you know, you're by the education, you have a grammar school. And your work characteristics are really, really, really nothing special. They meet the characteristics, everything you're talking about, such greatness that of the people that live on the edge of the society. She doesn't have any kind of characteristics that would make her shine or something like this. It's not difficult to get up, clean it up, put your hands in a pocket, walk to the company next door, do your eight fucking hours and get out. This is not art of the life. This is not art of the survival. Any moron can do stuff like this. Anybody can do this. You can go on a junkyard and you can collect people like this with hands in the pockets, under the bridges. Whatever you want, they're waiting for the opportunity. Every one of them gladly is going to go and is going to do the job. The art is, the art of life is, not to give in, not to give up when you're thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital for which you're told you're that walking man, you're buried ten foot, you're never going to come out alive. And despite threats, despite everything, you continue to fight like a lion. That's art of the life. The art of the life is when you do what the fuck I'm doing after 28 years of MK ultra violence. That's the art of the life. The art of the life is when you're doing what you're watching right now. After being not unemployed for 13 years. In my case, since 2006, not even to go to details about with you what went on in the United States of America, that adds up to about 17 years of unemployment right now. And you're blocked on every instance, on every level, economically. You don't collect any kind of money from social services. You're prohibited from even coming to collect unemployment. Threatened with the hospitalization if you will go to collect the check. Social security or something like this. If you will report yourself as unemployed. That's a fucking state of the art when it comes to life. That is somebody. I can say, that is someone. Being a Western journalist, I can find the motherfucker on every fucking junkyard, on every fucking corner of the street. That's a lazy motherfucker that's only waiting in his, with his hands in a pocket for Prince Andrew to come by and write his fucking article. Anybody can do that kind of stuff. Awesome. I am nothing for my mama. My mama start to demonstrate me physically how I am nobody. Okay. I am. I, I tell her, what are you? I said, tell me, what are you? I am independent. I told her, my mom, what the stuff you were doing in respect to my MK Ultra crime, in respect to MK Ultra crime against me, the crime you have involved yourself, because she talked about what I am, you are nothing and what I am. I told her what you have done, the type of person you are, mom, 
It's the people from the brink of the society. These are the people that don't know any better and need crime to get by. It was, it was. For my niece, it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary for my sister to keep the job. It was necessary for my niece. That's another story. It was necessary. My sister needed the job. My niece. They needed this. So now, if the key is going to get broken inside of the lock, uh, she says the man comes and instead of having a warm word, then he's got a stuff like this. I tell her, I haven't done anything to you, mom. Yesterday she came, she didn't bother to ring the fucking bell on the door. I was downstairs in my father's room because I was doing a cleaning here, removing mold and stuff, desanitizing the, 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 the room big time. Okay, the only thing that happened was it started, all of a sudden started to bang, boom, boom, foot, boom, on this, on the shutters outside. And I knew basically because this is her way anyways. Mom is at home and went to the door and unblocked the door because when she's not at home I don't see anything abnormal about keeping the fucking doors locked. I am at home afterwards. When you come home you ring the fucking bell and I'll come and I open the door for you even that you have the key. However, my mother exploded. Why the fuck are the doors blocked? Why? Basically, not <laughs> blocked. Why are they locked? The keys from this house, they have them in the United States of America and Australia. Maybe on a fucking Antarctica. They have this fucking keys. There were so many people here. They have them. Everybody has the fucking keys. But... When you use the skin poles or walking sticks, if you like, to jam the hook, the handle from the door, that key is not going to help you. It's not going to do much for you. And my mother just didn't like that. And yesterday, when she expressed her attitude to me, it was just as this here. Line even, as she rang the bell and so on. Now she's saying, when you come, when I come home and this and that, and this is how you treat me and this and that. I don't actually treat anybody. It's just I'm not going to allow anybody to walk over me. The only thing I really did, I asked, and I reminded she is resolute. She is decided about creating a conflict, something out of it. I just go away. I don't want to have this. Um, you're going to be soon, very soon, you're going to be jailed, she says. I said, really? That's right, she says. I say, really? And who's going to come to help you this time? I, I, I tell her, tell me, who's going to come? 
to rescue to do you this time? Who's going to come to help you out this time? Huh? I said, who's going to come to help you? Who's going to come to rescue? Uh, she is given like, she's like a whoa well, fucking 1,000. <laughs> Not this kind of signs. They're the fucking thousand reminders from psychiatric hospital. All sorts of fucking reminders. Leave them here, leave them there. I fucking recorded. I have no fucking idea from uh, even a phone book. They used some lady in a white dress on the phone when you see this psychiatric hospital. Psychiatric hospital. Psychiatric hospital. Psychiatric hospital. You will get fucking insane if I would put attention to all this bullshit. A bullshit started with my mother claiming together with police in respect to my father is future dementia problems due to stroke that the doors she's going to be locking upstairs it's actually to remind me where the fuck I'm going that's how this bullshit upon return from Poland all started just so you know if that doesn't remind you of when you were inside a psychiatric hospital, she's not normal. She is mad. With one word, she is fucking mad. So what I want to know is, who's going to come? Who's going to come to help you? Who's going to be this time? Who's going to come to rescue? Rescue them, right? In 2013... There was nothing but lies in respect to my case, for which they claimed that I didn't know where the fuck I was. I didn't know what year was when they brought me inside a psychiatric hospital. At the terrace, the police, the fire rescue people who came, mm -hmm. went like this, pushing me. They were, they were pushing me. They were pushing me. Dude, they were fucking pushing me. If they would ask me, they would say, we're going to do this, 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 this and that. I would go and I would have done it. It was a fucking pushing. It was shoveling. I did not return. It was violence. From their end, they exercised the violence. It was violence. It definitely was a violence. But the biggest violence was inside a psychiatric hospital where even toothpaste was denied as the right for me to use. They wouldn't even fucking give me a toothpaste. After 10 months of being hospitalized, majority inside of the secluded department. Fucking department that you have no exit out. That you are, it's where you get the reception. And it's completely against the law. Because I think the maximum they can keep you there 14 days or something like that. They keep me like for fucking, I don't know, 10 months locked inside in that department alone. Yeah. Supporter of Anders Breivik with intention to genocide ethnically cleansed Slovenian people, Roma and Jews. Jeez, how the fuck you get this? I have not even met any Jewish person when I was growing up here in Slovenia. Where the fuck is this coming from? All this stuff about the Jewish people. All that kind of stuff. Who uh, uh, exterminate Ukrainian people and Croatian people? And who the fuck else? Who else? What else you want to write down about me? <laughs> he doesn't know what the fuck his name is. Not only what year it is. Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Poly 2013. So I ask, who's going to come to rescue? Who's going to come to help you? Who's going to come to confirm that he's talking at night time with the Nazis? The accusations that came against me in 2013. This, this is just a, like sheer lunacy, complete lunacy. You, if you never wanted to have anything with the Nazism, you would become interested based on the stuff like this. 
Mother goes on, mother goes on, and thus even better now. Not the first time, repeated over and over and over, making fun, humiliate me. Um, that's why I am angry when she says, I start to ask her when she said, I'm going to be locked up. I start asking about who, who's going to come, who's going to come to rescue. Mother on many occasions made fun of my escaping for life from Slovenia. Yes, my, my really was escape from Slovenia through Croatia to Hungary in 2017. Which idea was even to go to Russia because of your fucking Western journalism, your fucking iron curtain of death, of lies. That's what you created. Escaping to Slovakia in 2018, escaping to Poland. Making fun? Somebody, even you to your own son, laughing to your own son, basically that he ran for life abroad from the psychi from the psychiatry, which you have assisted with the lies, by the way. Very nice, very characteristic. I think my mom is gonna spend uh, a lot of time inside of the jail, and it's not gonna be pleasant. I was sending you money. Better would be off uh, affording myself goodies. I tell her, you know what? For this, I'm going to put you to the internet right now. I told her, now I have enough. Um, the only thing that happened, uh, uh, I, I am not going to go to the kitchen, fuck that. I did place battery a little bit earlier inside of the laptop. Um, what I can tell you is... Okay, I am going to take a little tour. I wasn't going to do it. All right. I did put the bar inside so I can I can walk the house and uh, basically even record with the laptop because that's my only option right now that um, I can use. Okay, I'm going to do it. All right. This is just the stickers here that you see here from the flags and that kind of stuff inside of the room. Uh, the room is massive because I did spend time on destroying mold. I told you about the room was moldy. They sprayed mold all over the fucking room. The whole room. Everything you see. Everything you see. Everything you see. See those gloves right there? Those gloves I got from my father when I went to visit father, I think from home for elderly people. I didn't put them in there. Uh, it was differently arranged before there. Anyways, the point here is I'm not going to move them away. They're going to remain right where they are. A police officer walk inside told me, I walk inside, I look, I see the gloves, I already know what it means. Schmergel papier. I'm looking for the Schmergel papier. Um, how do you say that? 
Okay, there is there's like a toolbox here. That's for my father, and that's where I have all kinds of shoes sorted out. Okay, uh, yeah, a sandpaper, a sandpaper. Sandpaper, uh, just like gloves right there, did you see? Were thrown somewhere here inside, where the clothing is. Here it is. Here's the sandpaper. Ah, here's the sandpaper. Sandpaper? Sandpaper... Sandpaper, police officer told me, is great for the watches, it's great for the shoes. I'm not gonna comment, I'm gonna fuck you. You're not gonna get any comment from me. You're gonna see the comment I fucking give you. You're not gonna like one. You're gonna hate one. What is this here? This says here... This is from yesterday then. It didn't stop. I'm gonna say it is soft. I love to do it soft. Confezione biodegradabile compostable. Your father, cremation, dead. basically where I go to sleep. This is not because I did like this. This is my father's hunting room. But I'm demonstrating you this. It's going to be right there on a the table like that. That's next to it. That's a Caesars, but I brought this yesterday because I was fixing actually a battery on my laptop. I had written down. They aren't going anywhere. For this stuff here, police officer told me. He stated to me, they, they figure out I'm going to sleep here because of the stuff I stated to you on this floor here and that's basically what I I just go here for sleep it's the right thing to do you shouldn't sleep in the same space you work on a laptop and so on uh, what else police police uh, did shit like this gloves all that kind of stuff sandpaper Sandpaper, I have seen one police officer left one here inside. I have a clothing here. There is a, uh, the two boxes here. Did you see this? This is mine here. Found the fucking sandpaper inside. I said, what the fuck? I recall that there was a police officer. But it was a German. Olaf Scholz who stated, oh, a police insisted on what they're going to find when they enter inside of the room. You see, by the way, my stuff is open and unattended in this big house upstairs, right, as I'm doing this. I walk inside, I see this, I see that, I get idea. Da -da -da -da. Olaf Scholz dared me during MK Ultra with my keeping items like this. He said it's gonna demonstrate how self-secure you are. He said to police officer, yeah, do that, do that. <laughs> Fuck. I don't actually even need this stuff here. This black circles that you see here, you see those circles? This, the stuff that you see right there, you see this? 
Let me get it. Look, you see that? And then there's another one right there under the chair. I hope you saw it. I don't need any of that. That's father did that stuff. He brought inside when I was in the United States of America sometimes in 98 something. He burned the floor with whatever the fuck he used. My daddy is awkward. Yeah, my father is awkward. My father is awkward. I'm not. I I know what the fuck is what. I fix stuff. I can repair the stuff. I don't go just like this. My father is the one who ran after me with a paddle in hands, with a heave work, pointed a rifle, a shotgun at me. He did scream at my mother, all red, holding knife under her throat. Not once, but more times during the lunchtime. This is not what the fuck I do. That's not, that's not me. That's not I. That's my father. Was until psychiatrists got him in hands like my niece. If we want to prove that he is insane, then you have to just adjust yourself. You have to change your stuff. In it. This here, this, this is what they believe they're going to play, you know, on my self-assurance, confidence. They believe that they're going to haggle. They believe they're going to haggle with me, that they will negotiate with me. In other words, that I'm going to be so scared. And I'm just going to go and remove those items in a fear the police investigates <laughs> I got a lot of proofs about existence of MK Ultra and uh, those proofs I have to tell you those proofs go completely contrary to What eventually you believed, I'm going to have problem with. My mother is again very active upstairs, I can hear. They were sure that I'm going to be so fucking afraid that I'm not going to even think about think. But that's just not the case. That's not just, that's, that's not how it works here. I was interested in becoming a law enforcement officer. Central. Investigation agent, Central Intelligence Agency. Officer. Federal Bureau Investigator. The time I spent in the U.S. And by profession, I'm a mechanical engineering technician. And this is just not the way it fucking works. And I worked a lot of time as a security officer. Did a lot of stuff in field of security. And uh, I know what evidence is. The evidence, the overwhelming piece of evidence I have presented by identifying, I have no idea, a few thousand people. People few thousand people, I don't think so, a few thousand people, a few thousand things, yeah, from houses, people, all kinds of stuff, locations, yeah, sure, I got, I, I don't, I don't feel like I, I want to run with this stuff, that I need to hide this, I think that my word is worth gold, I, because it's nobody, it's no fucking journalist out there from your Western Hemisphere that can say, oh, that, that's not true, or something like that. They haggle for what they believe they're going to make crime against me look like a game, like some kind of fucking Olympics. This is no fucking Olympics. This is a theft of time. This is a theft of life, of human life. You have no right to. And that's what I told you today. I'm going to also insist on There will be no fucking negotiation. There will be no fucking change in stance 
of any kind from my point of view. It is just what I have written is on my news site this week. And that's the end. That's the case closed. That's how it's going to be pursued. And I did so to explain you this because I needed a concept. Because I am... I'm not a journalist. If I said I'm a journalist, I would humiliate myself. If I said I'm an investigative journalist, too, would humiliate myself, or investigator, or whatever. I'm just somebody who knows the art of the life. I'm just somebody who's not going to let go. I'm just somebody who did not and will not let go, will not allow anybody to teach him, prove him even, with violence, the opposite. You understand? That's all the fuck I am. That's how it's going to stay. The police officer who stated, investigated, is going to meet me somewhere in the mall and stop me and search my backpack and stuff like this. It's never going to happen. Because he doesn't have guts to even come close. I've identified, I think, every fucking investigator. Almost. For one, I'm actually not even sure whether he was investigated or not. I didn't mention him, but others that I did from the novel Mr. Police. None of them had a guts to even come anywhere close to me. What do you want? Who? Where? Who's going to come to assist and to my mama this time? I do like to know. Today, I was trying to do this. Somehow I didn't make it. Maybe I do it now. Let me see. Sometimes this stuff displays, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but there you have it, and uh, that, that's also time and date right there. And that's what I want. It's coordinated with this website that shows clearly time and date. You can trust me. That's that. December 19, 2022. Thanks for watching this video. What I am going to do one more time, I'm going to play you the audio. So you can see the interaction between me and my mother. If somebody did throw the key inside in here, it wasn't me. If somebody's going to go and break the broken... Mm, it's not broken, that's the thing. It's still holding strong in one piece. I was going to put one and still use one. But, the two marks that I stated on the key, they clearly demonstrate that somebody hammered the key, that somebody hammered the key. And I told you about the police investigator, spoke with my mother, asked my mother if it's going to be wrong, it's not going to be wrong, and this and that, uh, dreamed about... threatened me if you're going to use broom and broom is designed actually in a such a way so that logically would come to mind that when you see that right next door right next to that door that you're going to use one I knew about the key scenario in respect to the broom. What police officer stated. That's why I did this. Come and get it.
bring with you as many as you can. Come and get it. Come and get it. That's why I proceeded to put the broom on the key. It was my decision to proceed with the threat, with MK Ultra threat anyways. Because I have no fucking respect for you, none whatsoever. You're gonna negotiate with the same Peter behind bars. You, not I. You destroyed me 28 years of life. It's gonna stay right there. It's gonna stay right there. Come and get it. That's all I gotta say for this video. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna play you one more time uh, the audio. Uh, and that's about it. Then I'm going to be out of the door because I wanted to go out anyways. But this was really, really not too good. By the way, yes, I also have proofs about such scenarios. And I just didn't want to put them on because uh, I wanted to spare my mother as much as possible. I didn't want to make her trouble. I didn't want to create problems for her. But yeah, that's... Bullshit. When your mama, your own mama tells you under MK Ultra that this is when I call the police, the key is going to be broken inside of the lock, and that's what I call the police because that's too much already. Screaming to me under MK Ultra for something, uh, and now what? I supposed to be what now? This? You want this? Come and get it. That's all you got to do. Come and get it. Either way, I will come and get you. Here, audio one more time. Either way, police officers, psychiatrists, I'm gonna come and get you. It doesn't matter if you come. On December the 17th, last year, is when I purchased a Citroën, a car. The police officer who sold me the car, broken car, damaged car, misrepresented facts about the car, have stated me. This year is recorded, you understand, on December the 17th. You know what this is? These are the lights I video recorded, audio recorded, the car that was making a, such a noise that I was with my mother on one side of the house and I could hear him on the other side of the house, outside. And we have windows that you cannot, the sound doesn't even penetrate inside. He was making such a fucking noise. So that I went out and I actually 
video, even not really video recorded, but take a few photos of this guy along uh, the noise the fucking guy was making to remind me on how I am fucked because today was the last day you had a chance to go to the court with the car and get the money back for your car. The police officer who sold me the car however stated me she stated to me she said well if you will not report the car to Slovenian police then we will start working against you together realizing that you don't want to solve the problem with us somebody's fucked but that's not me it's you I could be director of Central Intelligence Agency easily. It's all audio recorded, this shit. That stuff is all audio recorded. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you this audio recording one more time. Then, what I'm going to do... I'm going to give you an audio and I'm going to go and fucking translate that shit from how they reminded me it's exactly universally one year since I have purchased my car Citroen and now there is no more chance for you to get your money back now you're fucked and please we're going to work Slovenian police are going to work together to get you because you don't want to work with us Oh, fuck. You know what? No, no. You destroyed me 28 years of life. Not interested. Sorry. Eh. I want somebody to take care of you. Teach you what police is. Yes, 
ты не мой подокурить и другие не ты
Čo se vedem na nekaj značaki, na njenega močaki so službo, kaj bo bolj šlo, da bi bolj šlo. Kje bo začaki? Urško bolo vredo. Alkis bil se ta širka. Se spomni? Tvoja vnukinja je? Moja pa ne. Če bi rekel, da je moja vnukinja, da je vnukinja, a potem bi bil pa jasno. Kaj je to slušaj, Ani? Raj so nekaj smeti. Raj so nekaj smeti, tako da ste izpolitili. Ste propadli bolj. A bej, bej. Ne slagati nisem rekel. Jaz sem samo vprašal, upolnil sem. Vprašal sem pa, upolnil sem. To je vse, ki je. Ja. To je da. Nisem pa... Res? 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 Ja. In kdo ti bo pošel na pomoč? A? Kdo bo pršel na ni? Kateri, 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 I'm hoping that this thing now it's still recording. Not completely sure about this. That's not too good, but we're gonna try this. Yeah, here you go. There you go. And we're back. We made it. Woo! I almost was sure this time it's not gonna work out. You know what, maybe it's the best, the best one the police was screaming about, attention, to get attention. Maybe this one here, this was maybe the best. This was the best one. This is when my father departed to the hospital. You see that floater right there? I had a floater that was a floater that I had since my childhood on this fishing pole on this fishing pole. Father has similar fishing pole because I sold one to him. This is a fishing pole from Cabela's. I bought from in the US, I brought with me um, <clears throat> I was the one who made sure that all his fishing poles would be in his room uh, secure and a secure place and stuff like this. Um, during his absence, did my best to possibly protect his fishing poles and stuff like this. I have no interest to go in, in, in his room for whatever. I have no fucking interest in, in anything really. Um, this stuff here that you see is a floater that is, you see this black thing? This is what police officer have entered inside of the room and have replaced my fishing pole uh, floater, the one that you could activate with a battery and would, you would have a, a light flash with this one here. With this one here, because it's black color and your father is going to hospital, you won't see one again, it's a death. It's a debt. He had this arranged with the neighbor here, with the Donny Collins. So you're gonna fucking tell me they don't come inside here and do this stuff? They do it all the fucking time. I video recorded 
the stuff about vacuuming the room. It's trash that's being thrown in the area of this room where you see those chairs right there, this. The room is like this because I told you I was doing the cleaning from this, from the, from the black mold they sprayed all over the place. I don't even use that area. And it appears the trash is just delivered. So for me to keep the vacuum outside like this, it's a, it's, it's a normal thing. I have to. What the fuck are you going to do? You go out and you have a trash thrown all over the room. And you go and you just again and again and again and again. That's basically, that's how that goes. This is life here. This is the way the fuck it goes. This is the way it is. I told you about my clipper, about about adjustment that you put on the clippers to, to, to shorten your hair, how it disappeared, just as I was told that the case is going to be. Police even studied brainwash me on blades, on a shaving blades. How I'm going to have that sound and all that stuff because of uh, rusty blades. They were exploring the possibility to hide the crime they performed against me. A butchery, literally human experimentation through the blades. But they couldn't prove because these blades are actually really good blades. And apparently that they don't rust. And you can use them over and over again. And I'm using a concept to basically... What you do, you basically, once you use the blade, you make sure that you clean the blade properly also from the water. That you, you flush, you flush the blade, you clean the blade, and then what you do is you dry the blade with a clothing so that it's absolutely dry, okay? That's, if it's a red issues, oxidation, that's not gonna prevent that stuff, but the blade is gonna last you, I think, longer. That's what they say, at least on the internet. Listen, let me demonstrate to you what happened here with this stuff here. What's that now, come on. This was on December the 17th, anniversary of my purchasing the car. It was with this telephone I did this because um, I also took the photos of it. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It, it appears it did not transfer. A little earlier, it appears I didn't have success. When I was recording, it appears it did not. Uh, no, I'm just talking about the police. About the stuff they... I'm not going to say they, they did not took the responsibility for it. But just as I stated, what shocks me, basically, what shocks me the most is that this is the attitude that is... Uh, I don't even understand this kind of attitude. Um, there is people who apparently think very, very highly of themselves. Uh, that's at least what it appears to me to be the case, including the British royals who have committed the overwhelming amount of crime. Uh, and it basically appears to me 
I don't understand now. I see here it is. Uh, it, 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 uh, what, what is this here? No. Is, I, I did make a mistake. 17, 17. No wonder that's, that really was a mistake. Should have been here. It appears to me they, um, They think like uh, they're amusing somebody or something like this. Uh, it's really, I want to say to you, you're, you're really nothing special. You're really nothing so special to me about somebody recognizing. You know, you do, do you understand even the meaning of the word recognition, recognize? That's how they have referred to my case. Now I am in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> I am really in a lot of trouble now. It looks like the timing is messed up on the, the phone or how. Uh, let's see that stuff here, 18 and 17. Seventeen, eighteen, twelve, eight, twelve. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to separate this for another video. This issue, simply because I don't see, I don't see the the evening I did audio recorded this stuff. Hmm, that's not good. It could have with, some, could other have with some other issues. Okay. This here is definitely not it. I'll probably have to reserve that for some other, uh, other occasion. This does it not go well. It's not. The recording is item yeah. missing, which I find it really, really strange. At this point in time, at this stage, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this stage is nothing other than crime that that police is into. They're just they're just really desperate in obtaining attention. That's why I was going to finish the thought started a little earlier. Uh, they when they yeah, it was even about for your case to be you know, recognized and so on and so forth. This is this doesn't have absolutely anything to do with the recognition. You have to understand there is no recognition here. Uh, I am not interested in wasting a single fucking second of my life at any point in time, including right now when I'm recording. I'm very, very, very unhappy about this stuff. Extremely, extremely unhappy about it. Because I deem that this is a waste of time, that this is a waste of life. This is not about the recognition. This is not about my wanting to become famous about absolutely anything. This is about the stuff I am missing in my life. In addition to 28 years of life and health lost. It's about, therefore, confession, not from my end, but literally from the police, literally from the psychiatrists involved. When it comes to the British Royals, I am not willing to even watch the video or listen to their voices.
when these people believe will recognize something. This is about confession. This is about admission. Admitting horrific crime that should never take place against European Union citizen and against American citizen I became in year 2000. I became naturalized American citizen in 2000. This is not about recognition. The recognition is based on earnest work. Something that somebody earns with a work, with sacrifice. Something British royals have stolen away from me. When it comes to the crime, especially as horrific as this one, it's only about admitting one. It's about admission. It's about confession. These are different issues that I would like you to pay attention to and acknowledge the difference between them. Maybe, maybe that audio is even gone, but It is what it is. There is nothing I can do if it's gone. If it's gone. If you don't uh, adjust uh, the battery properly when you actually the timing when you take the battery in and out and in and out and in and out as in my case I was compelled to do it then it's a trouble then it's really a trouble. Okay, I am not going to proceed with this crap. I'm going to post this some other time, and uh, I apologize to you, ladies and gentlemen, for wasting our time here with this. Um, it's going to be posted to watch up to a certain minute, certain time, and that's about it. And also, I have to go and do some other stuff. That's all I want to publish for this video. Strange, but sometimes, some way, somehow, some way, somehow, this is taking way too long. The whole thing. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna stop this here. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. It is too much crazy shit that goes on.
police is screaming for attention. Uh, it's a freaking obsession about anything police could use to come to assistance or whatever you want to say this. French won the car dilemma case. You see this here? This is what I'm looking for right now. Oh, I did click the wrong button. This here, this this stuff here. This this basically. On December the 17th, 2021 is when I purchased that car. That was the anniversary. And I had uh, somebody who could not go up the hill here behind the house, pulling the car up, and was making noise, so crazy noise, that I was with my mother inside of her room, with a loud TV on, and uh, the noise that was coming inside of the room was on the other side of the house located, so loudly, with all the windows closed, that I went... To look out on a terrace to observe somebody doing crazy stuff which appeared that he was not capable to pull that his car was continually dying on him. This shit was also involved in MK Ultra. Just as I would need this kind of favors. Let me explain to you something. I don't give a fuck about your mind games. I don't give a fuck about your proofs. Think about what I stated earlier. Every second wasted to me is a waste of my life. That's how I see one. I am not going to change my views. I'm not going to step on your side and see it your way. It's not going to be about recognition. It's going to be about confession. It's going to be about admission. Not about recognition. When the news comes out from the British royals, whatever they have to say about this, the miserables, les miserables, the untouchables, I don't want to hear, I don't want to see their faces. I'm just going to read the headline. And I want to have nothing to do with these motherfuckers ever again in my lifetime, for as long as I live. I figure out that... They were not capable to do it with me. I don't think they, can, they are capable with anybody. I think they are out there to just plunder, rob, steal, finally kill. You understand? I don't need no fucking recognition. Not even to hear their fucking obnoxious admission. Or see the confession. Because it's insult for my eyes. You understand this? Today is December the 19th, 2022. Once I find that uh, stuff, I'm going to post that separately. And I'm not going to go and bother with it. It's exactly what I stated. Uh, it's just, again, mother all stressed out. A mom is also stressed out if I talk to people. If I take her to the store and I meet somebody and I'm talking to the person, she's all fucking stressed out. Um, basically, whatever the fuck I do, she is stressed out. Anything that reminds of MK Ultra is a stress, causing to her stress, whatever. December 19, 2022. It would be easier on her uh, if she would take approach as normal people would. Humane approach. Not even about honesty here. 